And in Unit 1C5, I'm going to talk about the mathematics of video numbering of counter systems. And um, I mostly included that log sheet lesson here in the tutorials because I wanted to set up this lesson about math. Math and video production will trip up a lot of students because of the way that uh, the numbers work in video. We're using units of time in video production, and that's different from the units we're normally using in a math class, for instance. So let's talk about what those units look like in video. Video runs at 30 frames per second, or at least it does when I talk about it. There are different frame rates, however. Um, and there are always 60 seconds in a minute. There are 60 minutes in an hour, and you knew all this. You understood this already. Why am I talking about it? Well, because this is not a base 10 system. In math class, you're used to base 10. There are 10 uh, digits before you get to 10. There are 10 tens and 100. There are 10 hundreds and 1,000. That is base 10. There's 10 fingers on your hands. But this is base 6, my friends. There are 60 seconds before we flip over to one minute. There are 60 minutes before we flip over to one hour. And that means that when we count, we go 56, 57, 58, 59, 2. 201, 202, 203, 204, 258, 259, 3. And so you've got to remember to do that flip at the 60s when you're doing math in video production. So how does that look like? Well, here's an edit decision list, and we see that there are um, counters for how much time has elapsed when these different shots come through. And then here's the length of each of these shots. And I'm working in seconds, by the way. I'm not working in frames for this lesson. So this is all seconds. What we see on this counter screen right here is this is 45 minutes and 40 seconds. And here's 46 minutes and 0 seconds, 46 and 22 seconds. And let's break down what this is going to look like um, when we're adding these numbers. So here's the number 20. This is 20 seconds, 0 minutes and 20 seconds. What if we add 20 seconds to 20 seconds? So 20 seconds plus 20 seconds is equal to 40 seconds. Nothing bad there, right? And there's how that's written, 0 minutes and 40 seconds. What if we took 40 seconds and added 20 seconds to it? Well, that's 40 plus 20. That's 60 seconds, right? But how do we write 60 seconds? We do it as one minute. We have flipped over to one minute and zero seconds. 60 seconds is really one minute. And going a little bit further, what if we had 40 seconds and we wanted to add 40 seconds to that? Well, that's 80 seconds, but we write 80 seconds is equal to 1 minute 20 seconds. The first 60 of the 80 seconds are eaten up by that 1. That 1 minute is 60 seconds, and then we have 20 more seconds left over. That's the 20 right there. So 40 seconds plus 40 seconds is equal to 1 minute and 20 seconds. Uh, going a little bit further, 10, uh, here's 1 minute and 10 seconds plus 50 seconds. Well, that's going to be 2 minutes because we have 1 minute here plus 10 plus 50. The 50 plus the 10 is 60. 60 equals a, a minute, and we already have 1 minute, so 1 minute plus a second minute is 2 minutes. Moving on, a minute 10 plus 50, that's 2 minutes. Hey, I already did that one. Snuck that in there by mistake. 12 seconds plus 17 seconds is... 29 seconds. With a calculator, you can do that. But a calculator is not going to help you with 48 plus 23 because the answer is a minute and 11. The answer of what is 48 plus 23, well, that's just straight up for 50, 60, 68, 69, 70, that's 71 seconds. But we don't write 71 seconds. 71 seconds is 60 seconds, one minute, plus 11 left over, a minute and 11 seconds. And one more time, 18 minutes, 12 seconds, plus 23 minutes, 52 seconds, is equal to 42 minutes and 4 seconds. You've got to work in a base 6 system in order to add up these numbers in video production. Now, some of you probably went through that no problem, and you followed me, and everything was good, and you're like, I got this. Others of you might have your head spinning right now. It just depends how much math you've already had, how experienced you are with this, how comfortable you are with this. If you are not comfortable right now, if your head is spinning because I went through this way too fast, then there's a simple solution. Sit down with your teacher. You got a teacher in the room, a coach and mentor who's ready to help you. Your teacher will walk you through this. This is all going to be applied in this class. You don't need to know this esoterically. You need to know this for when you are adding up the numbers on your shot list to make sure you put in the right numbers in the right places. Work with your teacher on this. If you're confused, just say, hey, would you help me as I fill in my shot list? And I'm sure your teacher would be happy to help.